once again power one x2 power one updates 2020 world cup Ad- updates kada uh, today we'll bring you group f group f we have belgium croatia uh, morocco and uh, canada group f uh, uh, belgium croatia Morocco, Canada here on Par 1 Extra. Today we bring you episode 6 World Cup updates Qatar 2022. Please watch out for all our uh, previous episodes. Episode 1, Group A, Episode 2, Group B, Episode 3, Group uh, C, Episode uh, 4, Group D, Episode E, uh, Episode 5, Group Group E, Episode 5, Group F. So watch out for all our previous episodes here on Par 1 Extra. Today we our focus is on group F uh, group F uh, World Cup updates day updates here on power one of power one extra Yeah our first game in group F will be Morocco versus Croatia Morocco versus Croatia uh, this uh, this game is uh, this is a closed game it's not an open game we shouldn't expect many goals that means anyone can go ahead uh, to collect points anyone has equal chances to collect uh, a few points but uh, my prediction uh, will be it's likely to be a draw Croatia Morocco if not Croatia will go ahead and win this game we all remember Croatia they just concluded Euros they uh, the really struggled like uh, a 50-50 game but uh, if Morocco each team has a, a chance of going ahead and win this game or we'll get a draw but it's likely to end in a draw so Morocco Croatia uh, that will be the first game in group F first game in group F let alone we shall see uh, Belgium versus Canada yeah looking at Croatia Croatia when we t- we went if we are to compare both squads uh, squads from either side uh, we we see uh, Croatia has a better squad uh, than uh, Morocco Uh, Croatia has a better squad than Morocco looking at uh, Croatia has stars like Roka Modric Roka Modric plays for Real Madrid uh, he's a world decorated player with uh, a, a few Champions League medals uh, we see Ivan Perisic uh, now plays for Tottenham uh, we also uh, Croatia they also got Kovacic you know uh, Chelsea midfielder And, and looking at uh, this side of Morocco, they have Hakimi. Hakimi uh, plays for PSG, uh, number two. So when you went, if you are to compare squad depth, uh, Croatia has a better squad depth than uh, than Morocco. Uh, and when you look at uh, Morocco, they had the good Hakimi. Hakimi, Hakimi plays for PSG. So uh, Croatia has a big chance of going ahead and to win this uh, this first match in Group F. So um, uh, Croatia has a better chance, but it's a very, very tight game, and it's going to be a close game. Uh, we shouldn't expect uh, lots of goals in this game. Uh, so look out for first game, uh, Group F, Croatia versus Morocco. Croatia versus Morocco. Yeah, second game, Group F. Second game, Group F. Uh, it's between Belgium versus Canada. Belgium versus Canada will be played later on after. Uh, Croatia versus Morocco so second game Belgium versus Canada uh, when you look at both sides both sides are uh, definitely give it to Belgium to go ahead and win their first game collect all the three points uh, from Canada with our uh, Canada they got uh, a star player uh, Alfonso Davis as the star player but I don't see Canada stopping Belgium to collect all the three points with all uh, the stars uh, Belgium squad so uh, I don't think uh, uh, Canada can mount a serious challenge against Belgium to collect uh, to get any points I see a, a, a big win for Belgium against Canada looking at Belgium squad uh, with the likes of uh, Kevin De Bruyne um, with the likes of uh, uh, Eden Hazard uh, with the likes of Romeo Lukaku I see Belgium is uh, going to be a massive massive force not to go ahead uh, to go ahead and win uh, this uh, this particular game so Belgium uh, Belgium Canada Belgium will win this game uh, Belgium uh, when
uh, Belgium win, win this uh, their first game. So uh, Group F, we're looking at Belgium collecting all the three points. Uh, we also give a big, big chance for Croatia to collect uh, their first three points. But uh, Morocco, uh, Croatia, Morocco. That's a very close game. It's not. Yeah, it's a very close game. It can go on either side. So, uh, group uh, group group F, Belgium will definitely qualify uh, to the knockouts. Uh, to the knockouts and uh, between uh, Croatia and Morocco, that uh, I'll give it to Morocco. But now I'll give it to Croatia. Sorry, I'll give it to Croatia. But don't, we we shouldn't overlook Morocco. So. Between Morocco and uh, and Croatia, the, between Morocco and Croatia, they will join uh, Belgium onto the next uh, uh, onto the next stage knockout phase. So those are the first game to be played in Group F. Uh, yeah, looking at Group F, Group F uh, has a number of stars. Group F has a number of stars, but a few you should expect to to see during the Qatar World Cup 2022. Uh, uh, we, uh, we're gonna mention a few here. Uh, first of all, we're gonna mention Luka Modric. Luka Modric, you remember him uh, from the previous World Cup. Uh, he went ahead and won a silverware for World Cup. Uh, they came uh, first runners up uh, after losing out at the finals. We all remember Luka Modric. He was the uh, voted uh, the tournament player. He won that award. So Luka Modric plays for Real Madrid. Uh, he's a well-gifted player. He plays uh, in the midfield, attacking midfielder. So look out for Luka Modric, Croatia, Croatian international. And uh, also we remember Luka Modric. He once played in the English Premiership. He made a transfer from Tottenham to Real Madrid, where he's, uh, he has spent. Uh, a, a very number of seasons uh, winning his uh, fourth UEFA Champions League trophy so he's also a well decorated player to look out for in the Croatian uh, uh, squad so look out for uh, Luka Modric Group F uh, also look at um, Kevin De Bruyne Kevin De Bruyne is a gifted player uh, with a good technique in midfield he has great 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 uh, passing ability and he's uh, we all know uh, we know uh, those who follow the Premiership, English premier, Premiership, uh, a few seasons, uh, back back seasons being the passing master, like uh, with uh, lots of assets, he's been topping assist uh, charts uh, for a few seasons in the Premiership. So look out for uh, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Belgium International, uh, is also one of the stars to look out for in Group F. Another star player to look out for in Group F, uh, Alfonso Davis. Uh, Alfonso Davis, you, uh, you can't mention Alfonso Davis uh, without mentioning Canada football. So, Alfonso Davis, I would say, is an uh, ambassador to Canadian football. Every time I see uh, Alfonso Davis, I remember, reminds me of Canada, his national team. So, Alfonso Davis is another star to look out for uh, in Group F. He plays for Bayern Munich. Uh, he plays uh, number three, uh, left uh, left back. He's a left back. He's a very very fast player and uh, so talented on the left. So uh, look out for uh, Alfonso Davis. Remember Alfonso Davis, uh, Group F, uh, Canada Canadian International World Cup 2022 updates, uh, Qatar. Yeah, Mateo Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic plays for Chelsea. He's another star to look out for in Group. Uh, in Group F, Mateo Kovacic uh, is a number eight. He's an attacking midfielder. So look out for Mateo Ko Kovacic, uh, Croatian international. Also, most stars to look out for in Group F, we've got uh, Ivan Perisic. Ivan Perisic uh, plays for Tottenham at the moment. He just made a transfer from Inter Milan. But uh, we all remember him in the previous uh, World Cup he repre representing Croatia. So he's back once again uh, to showcase his talent uh, for the world to see. We all remember uh, Ivan Perisic at the finals. Croatia versus uh, France, that wonderful goal he scored against France So uh, during the finals. But uh, unfortunately, they went ahead. They went on to lose that game uh, to the World Cup to the current world champions France. So uh, another star to watch out for is Ivan Perisic. Uh, 
group F. Another big name you can miss out in group F, another big name you can miss out is uh, Romeo Lukaku. Romeo Lukaku is a prolific goal scorer. Uh, the only time uh, most of, uh, most, I, I'm sure most people know Romeo Lukaku by his uh, goal scoring abilities. So Romeo Lukaku is another star you can't miss out in Group F. Uh, he plays for uh, Tottenham, uh, no, he plays for Inter Milan at the moment after having uh, uh, an unfortunate spell with Chelsea. Uh, now he went back to Inter Milan, so he's another star to watch out for in Group F. Uh, Lomeo Lukaku, uh, World, uh, World Cup 2022. Hakimi, Hakimi, uh, Moroccan international. He plays for PSG. Uh, he's a good, uh, a good friend to Kylian Mbappe in PSG. So Hakimi, uh, Moroccan international. Some of the few stars we should uh, expect to see in Group F. Uh, so Hakimi Morocco, remember to subscribe, share, comment, and like uh, Power One F Power One Extra. Remember to subscribe to our channel for better service, Power One Extra, and uh, keep keep it locked for all your World Cup updates, Qatar 2022.